Hello beautiful people and welcome to my channel once again. Let's see in today's reading who is this person who gives you the evil eye aka who envies you. Who is putting out the negative energy towards you. Let's find out if you are curious. We are going to find out today. Choose your pile 1 to 3 which I will insert right now and I'm going for pile number 1. Hello pile number one, welcome to your reading. If you chose the sticker with this eye over here, this reading is for you. Let's see today guys who is this person who sends you negativity, negative energy, who is jealous of you, envious of you and so on. Okay, let's shuffle now immediately and see who is this person. Wow, pile number one. What's going on here in this pile? A lot of uh, negative cards. We have uh, five of pentacles, five of cups, the tower, eight of cups, eight of swords. And uh, we have here a lot of women in this spread. We have predominantly the empress. We also have from your oracles the mother of earth which is the Queen of Pentacles. So for a lot of you it's a woman, although we do have some men over here also in the Oracle cards. I'm getting here, it's either your boss or someone in your family, like an auntie. Maybe you guys played with your cousins when you were little. The children of your auntie, I mean. Right, and this person if it's your auntie, then she feels self-righteous, she feels like uh, you guys should dim your light in order for her to feel comfortable. I don't, I don't know why I'm getting Capricorn energy from this person. We have here with the Queen of Pentacles as well. Yes, we have Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm also getting this person might be jealous of your success, you might be financially secure yourself and they are jealous of that, you might be guys here, um, your own boss, you might be self-employed or you might have a business or maybe you're just financially very secure and this person I feel who is older than you is jealous of that. And I'm also getting for others of you it's your boss because the Emperor is speaking about that. Maybe this person is a boss themselves and they are jealous of you because we also have a lot of pages here so there is some sort of age gap, age difference with this person. Either they are a lot older or maybe this person can even be younger than you. Someone in your family, maybe a younger uh, cousin here I'm getting. And this person is extremely jealous because we have the tower here and the eight of swords. Ah, uh, yes, we also have here, guys, I forgot to mention. I just noticed we have here the Queen of Pentacles twice, right? Definitely something about uh, this person being jealous about your finances or maybe this person is the one that is financially secure but still jealous of you. And they'll tell you why they're jealous. It's because uh, of the star. This is you. You might be Aquarius here, some of you. I'm also getting Aries. Right, and uh, what else do I have here? Let me see about the zodiac signs. We have the moon with Pisces. We have King of Cups and the King of Wands as well. So it could be also a water sign or a fire sign. So basically everything, I would say mostly. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and also Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, so we have the Tower and Eight of Swords. With the Tower, guys, uh, maybe you had an argument or maybe this person felt disappointed by you for some reason. We have Eight of Cups, maybe you left. 
Maybe I'm getting uh, you left the workplace because you also have three of uh, pentacles here. So it could be your ex boss that is sending you negativity, negative vibes, right? And uh, this person doesn't like you because of the tower. This uh, connection was, if you are working together, very difficult, electrifying. So maybe you left this position and this person uh, doesn't like that. Or maybe they never liked him as a person. This can be one scenario here, right? And this person is very, very financially secure because we have Knight of uh, Pentacles as well and a lot of Pentacles here in the Empress. This person might still be thinking about you. They might be trapped in their head like they haven't let this go for some reason. I don't know why. If it's your ex-boss, if it's uh, your new boss, your current boss, She's not sure about you, maybe she doesn't know you very well, but uh, she still doesn't like you. And I feel it's because you trigger these people, whoever they are, you trigger a lot of their insecurities. We have here five of pentacles, and this card is speaking to me sometimes about insecurities, about them fe feeling inferior to you. And it's clarified with the three of uh, pentacles, so they might feel inferior in their skills at job, uh, maybe if these people are your colleagues, doesn't have to be your boss, they might be your colleagues and uh, maybe you guys are very skillful, very good at your job and they feel inferior here, they feel some type of way, securities and jealousy because of that. We also have here five of cups, again negative energy, some uh, disappointment and clarifying the page of pentacles. In this case, it could be an old friend that you walked away from again because we have five of cups and the eight of cups. So it could be some uh, young person here with the page of pentacles from your friend group that you left alone, that you left the connection or they left the connection. Maybe they ghosted you or something like that. Maybe they didn't even, um, you know, explain why they left with the tower, maybe it was very abrupt and they did that because uh, they were feeling very very jealous here, definitely. So this person might show you on the outside or they did in the past. If it's a colleague for example, they might show you they're very calm, very serene, you know, very uh, cool. But uh, internally they're more passionate here with Ace of Wands. They are not indifferent towards you, they have passion, but in a bad way, right? It's like you are their target in this card, you see. Even though this person is uh, looking calm, but inside they have like a, <laughs> I don't know, a purpose here to bring distraction, to take you down. You see this card, it's very interesting. Okay, the Four of Swords also speaking about uh, emotional turmoil, about fears, about, uh, you know, feeling emotionally overwhelmed about something or someone. It could be about you, if you went to a new place, for example, with the Ace of Wands at your workplace. And these are new colleagues. It's like, um, yes, you don't know them well. They might seem calm, they might seem indifferent, but inside they are not so indifferent towards you because uh, they might feel threatened here. Maybe they even feel threatened because they feel like uh, you guys are better than them, your skills, and um, they're afraid that they're going to be laid off, you know, like they're going to be fired. It could be for some, with the Tower and the Eight of Cups. So that's why they're jealous of you. Because we also have here the Knight of Pentacles, so I feel this can represent you in this case. I might see you as someone very grounded, as someone very dependable, loyal, and maybe they're afraid that your boss guys will see all of these good traits of yours, right? And uh, this is a threat to them. Okay, but mostly what I feel, whoever these people are, could be your boss, could be an auntie, could be a cousin, could be your colleagues. Someone in your environment here, very close to you, I feel, is this person, most likely a woman. Whoever these people are, they are very, very threatened by your light. You have the star 
card. So you might be very attractive. You might uh, be, you know, this um, healed person that attracts a lot of abundance in your life. You might um, be someone also that attracts attention and they don't like that. They don't like you shining. It's like uh, you shed light on their own imperfections and uh, their insecurities are coming up and I also see here with the shadow that you trigger their shadow side to come to light you know you trigger their lower self to come up because they feel imperfect in front of you this is the moon card in this deck and this um, is describing insecurities as well fears doubts illusions so they are getting disillusioned when they meet you it's like you guys you might be a healer light worker and your light is definitely something very strong yes and these types of connections that you have with these people they have to look at themselves in the mirror right and sometimes they don't like what they see and that's why these people maybe some of them cannot even relax because maybe your conversations or the way that you carry yourself even that you are trigger them some of them are jealous of your body maybe you are training, you have a nice body they are jealous of your body of your beauty of uh, the attention that you get These people are very drawn to you yes, and we do have here also the king of cups for some it's a man water sign Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio maybe it's your ex because we have the tower here and the eight of cups and the five of cups so if it's your ex this person is jealous here of you because they have unresolved issues and uh, still they have feelings for you the shadow and the moon and this uh, king of cups here in this case, this person might have a beard, I guess. They might be very masculine looking. Trained body, they might go to the gym. They might have kids or you have kids together. Interesting. And then getting this person uh, wants always to win. Maybe in this case, they couldn't win with you. You outsmarted them. You surpass them and uh, they're having a difficulty right now to accept that. And they are sending me negative energy, okay? We also have here the King of uh, Wands. And this King of Wands wearing this mask, you can see. They cannot see properly. So I feel this person is blinded uh, here in this case. It might also be a man, but not necessarily. Fire sign. I Sagittarius, maybe you had an argument with this person because I see these two Aries in the back but in head, so maybe you had an argument also with the tower with this person it's not necessary to be a man for others it's a woman, but definitely some bad blood between you and this person and they have a lot of um, envy for you wow, electrifying energy, you see this card, these lightnings in the background. This person also can be a Scorpio I'm getting, I don't know why I'm getting this message. They might have an animal, they might have a dog, very egotistical person I'm getting here. Okay guys, I will get some initials for you now, let's see a bit more. Okay guys, I also got a message for some, it could be your ex-wife, right? And also I'm getting for others, uh, it might be a woman that is a lesbian in your environment, okay? That uh, is really jealous of you. Okay, so we have additional zodiac signs, we have Aries, Gemini, and for initials we have K, B, V, H, Z, U, J, W, F, P O Y A L T and I. Okay, guys, so that's all I had for you. Pile number one. If you resonate with this message, then first of all, you should <laughs> cleanse yourself, okay? 
And second, uh, you can subscribe to my channel. You can reach out to me for a personal reading. I do offer 20 euro readings for you guys. Uh, if you would like to reach out, I have the link in the comment section and also in the description box. So thank you so much guys and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hello pile number two, welcome to your reading today. If you chose this sticker with a green eye, this reading is for you. And let's see today who is this person who gives you, you know, the evil eye, sends negative energy, who envies you. Let's find out today together. Stick around because I will also draw some initials for you, so maybe it's helpful. So let's see guys. Okay, pile number two. Wow, the energy is heavy here, so I don't know if I will do this type of readings again because, um, you know, <laughs> we have a lot of negativity and uh, we have here ten of swords, the tower, three of swords, ten of wands, the sun reversed, six of pentacles reversed, and we have here similar cards. I draw these um, oracles for you. We have the deviant. Chaos and Destruction, which is the Tower card again. Tower card twice, guys. Can you see that? This person is really something here. The Trickster, Ego in Excess. This is a Devil card. A lot of Major Arcanas. The Monarch, Victorious. The Loner. So Chariot and uh, Hermit. And some other cards I will explain. We have the Sun card twice, so one time it came out reversed and uh, the other time is here again. Definitely strong Leo energy. We have here the Strength card as well. So this person or you might be Leo. We have here Capricorn, we have uh, Mars energy, Aries, we have uh, Cancer. Yes, what else do we have? And we have the King of Swords, can be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So who is this person who hates you that much? Wow. This person can also be a Virgo because of the Hermit over here. Hmm. So this person is most likely someone in authority. We have here the Emperor and also the King of uh, Swords before. This person might have authority, they might be a boss, they might be a manager. This person can be a man or a woman. Um, for a lot of you it's a man, for others it's a woman, I think. Yes, because I also opened the deck and I saw the matriarch, which is the empress. And we have here the monarch, which is also depicted as a woman, as you can see. Okay. So maybe you have some sort of differences with this person. Maybe you guys uh, were even in a relationship with this person because of the tower over here and the three of swords. Or maybe if you guys are in a connection and it's a third party, then it means that uh, the spouse of this person is jealous of you and she's sending you negative energy. I really don't like uh, this type of energies, but uh, I decided to do a reading, so I have to go with it. Yes, so we have the tower. And these both cards are very, very intense, as you can see, right? In one card you have fires and lightnings and, you know, coming from hell. And on this side you have water here and darkness. Hmm. So, this person I feel has a lot of negative emotion towards you because water is emotion here with the tower. And uh, on the other hand, they are very, very in fire as well. It's like this person, if you have a match next to them, they will <laughs> ignite, I don't know, with fire and so on. And also this electricity around means that uh, this person is definitely sending you some type of negative energy, right, towards you. 
Okay, so for some of you this might be an ex-friend. Maybe you guys were in a friendship and the friendship broke and this person is sending also negative energy. Something collapsed here, I feel. Either relationship or uh, another connection. It might also be your father, unfortunately, or your mother. Maybe your relationship uh, has come to an end. Maybe something uh, happened here and you're not uh, in good terms. You're not speaking. Maybe you had an argument, right? Ten of Swords can also indicate that an end of an era, end of, end of a connection. And this person uh, feels very, very defeated right now. They feel defeated with the Ten of Swords. This is also negative thinking. And we also have Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is being burdened by something. And these negative thoughts that we have for you are always there. They cannot get rid of them. Even if some of them want to. And it could be because, guys, you have a very difficult relationship, difficult past together. In case that this is your ex-friend, this friend, quote-unquote friend, is gossiping a lot about you. You have a page of swords here. They are talking about you with other people and um, they are saying some negative stuff. The sun card reversed is talking about negative energy as well because the sun normally is speaking about bright energies, right? Happiness. And this is the opposite here. Also, this person I feel is jealous because of your success. You might be very successful with the sun and the chariot. It's like you guys were able to break some uh, generational curses with this chain here that this person is breaking. And this person might even be a family member. It might be a cousin or it might be someone else in your family that didn't expect that you are going to be so successful, that you are going to overcome all of these um, obstacles and difficulties in your life and that you have emerged to be this victorious person, to become your own boss even, maybe even have your own business. So this person uh, doesn't like that. We also have six of ones here. So you might be very successful, you might be seen by a lot of people and this person doesn't like the fact that a lot of people give you attention and that you are a very strong person mentally. This person, whoever they are, they have uh, underestimated you and now they realize that you are stronger than anything around you. I'm also getting guys that you are very protected right now from your uh, spirit guides from the divine they're protecting your energy, you might have angels around you that protect you, but please in any case cleanse yourself because these people um, with the strength card, their energy is very strong towards you right now and the sun card reversed, wow, I never take uh, reversals but in this case here they really want it to be like that and six of pentacles in reverse here Interesting. These people have a lot of anger inside for you, a lot of jealousy with the tower. And um, this person might have green eyes, I'm getting because your eye in the thumbnail is green. And also, I see these green eyes right now. Or maybe light eyes, blue eyes, or something like that. Mm, some of them might be blonde. And some might have darker hair. This person might have uh, very defined cheekbones or a square face. Some of them have uh, like a um, diamond shaped face. Like their um, forehead is bigger than the lower part of the face. That's very specific. But I got this information. And this person is not feeling equal to you. We have here six of pentacles in reverse. Also, they don't like that uh, you don't give them enough energy, right? That you are really protective of your energy. It's like you don't want to give them. You don't want to fall into their trap. You play at the sound of your own drums. Right? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how the saying is exactly. But you understand what I'm saying. And this person doesn't like that. 
whoever they are. They also don't like that you're so independent here. We have nine of pentacles. They don't like that you're successful financially. Nine of pentacles clarified with the three of swords, you see. This is crazy here. And I'm also getting guys, for some of you this person might be religious, I see the cross, but I also get that might be even your ex-husband, because uh, you might be married. The emperor um, indicates that. Yes, definitely. Also with the hermit, this person might feel very lonely, so it could be your ex-husband. And because they realized that, um, their thoughts are negative right now. They don't like the fact that they still depend on you emotionally. Yes, we have here the Emperor and the Monarch. Someone very powerful. They might uh, be a boss. They might be a female boss. So in case that this person is your female boss, she doesn't like guys that uh, you have these attractive energies with the sun card and they try to dim your light. We have the sun card twice. So some of you might be extroverted or maybe happy-go-lucky person, very bright, very smart. And I'm also getting, if it's your boss, then she doesn't like you outsmarting her. So be careful with that. I know it's not politically correct, but uh, sometimes this happens. Not only with female bosses, but in general. They don't like when uh, an employee outsmarts them, so be a little bit aware of that. So your light is triggering these people. I feel um, you might guys be spiritual. You have overcome a lot of difficulties in your life. You have worked on yourself and maybe you're operating from a higher from your higher self, I mean. And these people still operate from their ego because the tower is um, signifying a lot of ego. Egotistical people, lower chakras, three of swords, anger, resentment, um, emotional burden here. So these people are operating from their lower chakras, especially with the devil card. Yes, these people guys are obsessed with you. They are speaking obsessively over you, right? They cannot let it go. They are not focusing on their own lives, but they are focusing on negativity and spreading negativity. And, um, you know, trying to find something negative about you in order to gossip about you. And these people, uh, because maybe they don't have uh, power in their life, if it's, for example, a um, family member, maybe a distant one, I'm not saying your siblings, but someone else. Maybe they don't have power in their own lives and they try to take you down because they try to be this uh, puppet master like the devil is and pull the strings in order to feel more superior. And others of you, these people, are trying to do that in order to satisfy their own ego here with the tower and the devil card. So some of these people can be Capricorn. But I feel um, they are doing that behind the scenes. You might not even realize who these people are. They might show you that uh, they are very happy to see you. If they are your colleagues, for example, or uh, maybe some uh, distant friends or distant family members. They might not show you that. They might be very happy when they interact with you at work or whatever. But behind the scenes, they're the devil here. What else do we have? They don't uh, really like that you're victorious. We have the chariot card twice and the six of wands. They don't like that you get a lot of attention. They are triggered by your lights because these people are operating from their lower chakras. We also have here the king of swords. So King of Swords is someone very analytical, very logical, very cold, not showing a lot of emotion. It could be for some others of you, it could be your boss here. Someone in authority that doesn't show much, but behind the scenes they hate you. Because maybe you steal their uh, light, in a way. And this is coming because of insecurities. Okay guys, so I'll draw some initials now, let's see a little bit more. Who is this person? Maybe gives you some more 
Então. We also have some additional zodiac signs. We have Aquarius, Libra, Capricorn again, Taurus. Initials we have N-I-C-K, so it's spelled uh, Nick, right? <laughs> For some it could be a person named Nick. We have I-R-E-X. For some it's your X, like I said. L-W-G-Q-Z and F. Okay, pile number two, that's all I had for you. I will wrap it up because I don't like this energy. So, yes, uh, if you resonate with this message, guys, you can give it a like, subscribe to my channel. You can reach out to me for a personal reading. I do offer a 20 euro readings for you, among others. I have the link in the description box in the comment section if you like to look it up okay thank you so much and i'll see you next time bye bye hi guys hi pile number three if you chose this sticker over here with i this reading is for you so let's find out today who is this person who is sending you negative energy who envies you let's see all about this person who they are and also stick around because i will also draw some initials for you maybe it's helpful to know who this person is Okay, pile three. Wow, I'm very not surprised, but you know, all three piles today had a lot of negative cards. Not surprised because that's what I'm asking. But uh, what I want to say, all three piles had the tower card. We have the tower here. They had um, ten of swords, five of cups, five of pentacles, three of swords. So <laughs> that's a lot of negativity here. I will do this reading as quickly as possible and then I will <laughs> I will cleanse myself from all of that. All right. So who is this person who is um, sending you the evil eye? Who envies you? It's most likely a person from your workplace. You have here eight of pentacles and three of pentacles. Someone that you work together, someone very close to you in your environment, maybe if you're not working together. You're doing some sports together or some other activities. Uh, these activities might be anything, creative um, activities or something else. Uh, you might have a hobby that you're doing together. So this person, I feel uh, they're very aggressive towards you right now ready to fight we have here the knight of um, swords you see so this person i feel is very jealous of your hair of your body they're very jealous of your character as well you might be a very quiet person uh, you might be very grounded because you also have here the peacemaker persistent patience which is a temperance card Right, so you might be very balanced, you might be very secure in yourself, you don't need to prove yourself, but uh, nevertheless, you impress people, I feel, and this person is very jealous of you. You see here, Ten of Swords. How this person feels uh, is filled with rage, I would say, even an anger, negativity, negative thoughts, right? You also have here King of Swords, so for some it might be a man. It could be your ex that you broke up with, maybe even ex-husband, because we have the Death card and we have also here the Tower and the Three of Swords. So this can be your ex for some of you guys, and this person is jealous of you because, um, first of all, they cannot get over you. We have the Death. And the death is about transformation, about endings, as well as the Ten of Swords. It's a huge ending in something, ending of a relationship. The thing is that this person cannot forget you. This person is uh, sad, lonely, with the Five of Cups and Two of Pentacles. You're always on this person's mind here. They try to blind themselves to you, but they can't. 
And in this case, this person is jealous of you because they have resentment because of the reason that they cannot get over you. They're having the tower moment every day. It's like they're going through the dark night of the soul every day here. It's like karma is striking every day. And this person wants to have peace. They want to have a new beginning in their life by themselves but also with you for some because you have three of pentacles and i am seeing these snakes in these cards it's crazy there is a snake over here and there is another one over here snakes are typically a sign of jealousy right also of uh, deceit of uh, these people being around you but you don't even realize how much they are jealous of you Okay, so with the Three of Swords I'm getting for some of you, it might be a group of three people. We have here Three of Pentacles, Three of Swords in your environment. Maybe it's even your friend, in your friend group. A group of three people. And you don't realize how much this person has this uh, ill intentions, unfortunately, and jealousy. Every time they see you guys, it's they get jealous because they realize how much light you have. So we have here the temperance. Uh, some of you might be a light worker here. Someone healed. You have very good energies. It's like you're very peaceful. Um, confident. You love yourself. You healed your inner child here. These people are triggered because uh, you shed light to their own darkness their shadows and we have here for zodiac signs we have Sagittarius Scorpio Aries we have Gemini we have Pisces and we also have air signs we have Gemini Libra Aquarius again right so we have a couple here we have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords so for some definitely it's your ex, ex-boyfriend or ex-husband, this person <clears throat> doesn't wish you well unfortunately because uh, they are not over you and uh, they might even be jealous that you're going to find someone else, someone better. They are jealous because uh, you are the magician and you can manifest abundance in your life quickly, especially here with the Knight of Swords. And they can't. I'm also getting guys here with this card. It's like these angels in the background, you see. That you have divine protection over you. So no matter what happens, you always win. And these people cannot cope with that. If it's your ex, they feel like, how come? You have overcome everything and you are shining bright with a temperance card over here. And they can't. And that's why they have this jealousy and this uh, resentment towards you. And we have here the hangman as well. So hangman is speaking about uh, someone having changed their opinion about something. It's about you, because we are talking about you. Maybe you guys are a person that makes uh, people uh, think more deeply to realize deeper things about themselves when uh, they meet you and this makes them uncomfortable here because the martyr <clears throat> is typically not such a pleasant energy to be in right because it's about sacrifice it's about uh, you triggering them to change we have the death card and in this process that you trigger these people they don't like it and also you are a generous person with six of pentacles Maybe you're very good in communication, in your environment. Maybe you have a lot of friends. Maybe you're very likable and they feel that you are because you're very calm and peaceful and uh, you give to people a lot. And that's appreciated by people. If someone is a giver, right? That's normal, it's natural. But some people don't like it because they feel these people wish to be you. So this is the lover's card typically, we have the twins. So for some it could be two people that are jealous of you, might even be twins, but uh, not necessarily. For others might be your twin flame that you broke up with and uh, because of their 
emotional turbulence because they cannot move on from you. <clears throat> this person uh, is jealous of you. Okay, guys, so that's the person or the people that are jealous. Let's draw some initials now for you. We have some additional zodiacs, Virgo, Pisces, Capricorn. And the initials you have ZP, E, K, R, F, V, T, L, H, O, C, D, Y, S, and M. All right, so pile number three, that's all I had for you. Today, if you resonate with the message, you can give it a like, subscribe to my channel, reach out to me for a personal reading. I do have my links in the description box and comment section. I have a 20 euro reading among others for you. Thank you so much guys and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.